You want to try that, buddy? I will lock you up. You want to try that? Yes, I will. You want to try that? Stand about a mailbox. I'm technically right. this steal their property. Just shut your mouth. I don't have to useless. do anything you say. To You're me. useless, bro. Okay. This is called a career killer right here. This camera. Yeah. Meanwhile, new at 11, a Florence County Sheriff's deputy is no longer with the office after video of an arrest was uploaded to YouTube. Welcome back to the Lackluster channel. Many of you have seen the small clip of this video, and now we have the full story. Pepperoni Audits was in Florence, South Carolina, filming Dove Technologies from a public easement, a private company that receives tax dollars through a government contract that sells printers, barcode readers, thermal imaging cameras, and security systems. As he filmed, various employees arrived and left the facility. Nearly 10 minutes into his filming, two men emerge from the building. One appears hostile and walks directly towards Pepperoni, claiming that he needs his signed authorization to film him. I don't have my signed authorization to have my face on that camera turned off. Can I have your signed authorization? This guy's coming up aggressive, everyone. Can I help you? No, can we help, can you help us? Yo, get away from me, buddy. No, no, dude, who are the you? away from me, dude. Why are, why are you here? Back the f off. Why are you here? I suggest you leave me alone. Uh, you're on private property. Uh, I suggest you do something about that then and get back inside. Ooh. Really? Yeah, really. You like going around people like this? You, you know think what? that's fun? Don't, don't touch my shit, buddy. You touch my shit, I'll fucking tase you. That's, oh, go ahead. Oh, touch, so. Do it. Do it. What, what, Touch my sh that's on camera. Despite never entering their property, the Dove employee attempts to take Pepperoni's camera. In South Carolina, section 16-3-600 E1 states that a person commits the offense of assault and battery in the third degree if the person unlawfully injures another person or offers or attempts to injure another person with the present ability to do so. After the Dove Tech employee assaults Pepperoni audits and fails to intimidate him enough to force his departure, the two go inside and call the Florence County Sheriff's Office. Knowing law enforcement would be arriving soon, Pepperoni stays on scene to avoid appearing as though he is fleeing and continues to film during which he is mindful to stay off the private property. Deputies arrive on scene nearly 20 minutes later. Coming, man. Oh, nothing, just getting uh, assaulted out here, that's about it. Getting assaulted? Yeah, by one of their workers. What, what happened? I was just out here taking some pictures and one of the guys came out here saying he didn't want to be filmed and he ran up to me, started circling me, grabbed my camera, started pushing up on me. So that sounds like an assault to me. And it's all videotaped. You have it on video? Oh, it's all recorded. Luckily, he didn't break my camera. Otherwise, I probably couldn't show you guys if you want to see it. Because I do want to press charges on him. Was there something involved in the taser? Oh, I pulled it out in self-defense. Okay. When you come out at me like that and you're about to destroy my stuff and put, do bodily harm to me, you're damn right I'm going to pull a taser on someone. You're damn right. You need to tell that guy he needs to not put hands on people. It's a short little fat guy. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a aggressive guy. Oh yeah, we're gonna do a report on him too. That's fine, we can, yep. we can do that. Oh yeah, they're gonna have to learn. Just, I just need to give this deputy your information for me, all right? You have an ID or something? I don't have an ID. Okay. Yeah, buddy, you're gonna learn. You can't come outside and grab people, man. That ain't right. Is it free speech? Am I allowed to say stuff? Well, you have a freedom of speech, but there's also something called breach of peace. Breach of peace and disorderly conduct are among the most vague and unconstitutional statutes listed. Officers generally use them to suppress speech they don't care for, but modern definitions describe a breach of the peace as when a person reasonably believes harm will be caused to a person or property, such as rioting or unlawful assembly. Okay, I'd like to see you try that, buddy. Those people put hands on me. I'm the victim. So you want you want to turn it around on me? I'm not turning it around. Please do so. What I'm telling you is... You guys are known to be the biggest pieces of okay. in, in South Carolina. Let me explain something to you, all right? Yeah, yeah sure. Explain to me public photography and people coming up and touching me. What did I do wrong? Are you going to let me talk? Go on ahead. 
what I was saying is, I don't need you yelling while I'm trying to talk to this man because that's going to cause him to yell, cause a scene, you get mad, he's going to get mad, then it escalates. Okay. Just talk to this deputy. Let me tell you something. I'm allowed to say whatever the hell I want. You if I want to say sh to him because he came up and grabbed me and I want to call him a dummy for doing that, I have every right to. What? If you yell across this parking lot while you have all these people standing around, that is called breach of peace. You want to try that, buddy. I will lock you up. For you want to that. try that. Yes, I will. You want to try that. All right. Try I'm it. Not going try right, it. Dude. Try it. Name and badge right. number. Corporal Driggers, one at eight. Name and badge number. Driggers, two thirty six. All right. Go do my assault charge. I need you to give him your. You need to go talk to them. I will do my job. All right. I'm one supervisor. Go do your job. All right. Give this deputy information. Go do your job. I already to told him I would. All right. Go do your job. Go talk to them. I'm done with you. Yeah. Remember, I want that the charges filed. Pepperoni gives the deputy his info, some of which will be redacted. And you better file charges if I'm giving you my information. What's your day, bro? If you don't, believe me, you guys will get complaints, and this will be That's all over you. you. Whatever you need to do, man. I'm just saying don't f me over because I just got assaulted. Do your job. Okay, we're showing you respect. There's no... Since I don't know. I'm, he's profanity. saying he's gonna arrest me after I get okay, assaulted. Just, That's not respect. He didn't. I can talk any f***ing way I want to you guys yeah, that I want. Can't cuss across oh, I can cuss to you all I want. F*** you. F*** you. F*** you. F*** you. You. F*** 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 you. See? You're pushing it, brother. Oh, I'm pushing it. I'm pushing it by saying f*** you. You are in the public. I'm actually not too sure on my address. It's um, because I just moved. Uh, Pepperoni provides his address and the officer runs him for warrants. Look, they, they have to run me first, everyone. They can't run the actual criminal. They have to run me first. You got a good phone number? Uh, no, I don't. You don't have a phone number? I don't have a phone so number. So you understand when they, if you do want to file a report, when they, they're not going to be able to contact you. Oh, so I can't file a report then because I don't have a phone? Did I say that? I said oh, they're going to no. have the issue. No, I have an email address. Can I give you my email address? Sure. PepperoniAudits at USA.com. After providing his information, the deputy refuses to continue asking questions about the incident. I just gave you my information now. Let's do this report. Can you go tell him go question the guy who assaulted me? He's going to conduct his investigation. It's not my job to supervise, supervise. So you can't tell him the information I just gave you? What, the description description of the individual? Okay. Do you see him up there? No, he's not. He's inside hiding. He hasn't left either. I've gotten every license plate, every car that's come in and out of here. I made sure of that. What was he wearing? He had a blue shirt. Short, uh, dark hair, fat. Probably the only short fat one in there. So what was the call about? Somebody coming up here harassing employees and pulling a taser on someone. Oh, cool. Did they mention that they came out when I was just taking pictures of their property and they came up and grabbed me? Did they tell you that? Did they tell you they circled me and surrounded me? They mentioned that in the 911 call? Oh, they didn't mention the part before though, right? The part where they assaulted me, they forgot, they let that out. We got a call about a suspicious person being on the property. Oh, am I on the property? I'm assuming you were if you were over there. Oh, you're assuming I was. Were you over there? You said you were filming that car? You know what, I'm not going to answer any more questions. You walk around the vehicles, filming the car, so that means you was on the property. I'm not going to answer any more questions. Okay. That's how stupid you are. Question. That's how stupid you are. Keep on going. Yeah, moron. Go on ahead, try it, dude. I dare you. This is called a career killer right here, this camera. Yeah. yeah. That's all you got to do, man. Yeah, it, it is. And you got to violate your rights and not uphold I'm your not your, your right. You can film all day. Well, you just said I was on their property. You said you was on their property. I never did once. You said you was walking around the car see, filming see, the cars. See, I said I was filming every license plate and every car going so, in and out. Does, right. Did I say I was inside their if property? If you're going to do this report, you need to explain to me in detail how it got to the point Do where... you see where I'm standing? Do you see where I'm standing right now? Hey, I'm over here. You're standing by the mailbox. I'm Technically, right. this is still their property. 
it appears that Deputy Driggers is ill-equipped for his profession. A mailbox is not an indicator of a property line, nor is the edge of a roadway. Every county has parcel maps that show the property lines, and in this case, the public easement is behind the fire hydrant, nearly 20 feet from the edge of the road. You're so, so dumb. You in a road I dare you, man. I dare you. Give dare me, me to what? Trespass me. If you think this is their property, trespass me. You need to explain to me what happened to the point to where you say you got assaulted. How about I talk to this guy? Is this your supervisor? Is you're not doing shit, man. You're just an idiot. Eventually, Pepperoni tries to speak with another deputy. All right, I just got assaulted and this guy really doesn't care. He's not really, he's- He's just talking shit, running his mouth. That's all he does. I'm just talking shit. Trying to this ask guy's... him. He said he got assaulted, but he is yet to tell me how. He ran up to me, started circling me, grabbed my camera, started pushing up on me. I, I told you circled by this guy. I've told him multiple times this guy is terrible. If you're mm -hmm. a supervisor, recommend him. I'm not He'll, a all right, can you help me and do your job? Our and supervisor's over there. You don't cuss him out. Yeah. Oh, why did I cuss him out? Because he said he was going to arrest me after yeah, I got he assaulted. He said he was going to arrest you for breach of peace if you didn't exactly. shut your mouth. Exactly. How about you shut your mouth? How about you do that, buddy? Just shut your mouth. I don't you're have to useless. do anything you say. You're me. useless, bro. Okay. You're a useless public servant. Right. That's all you are. Now, nobody interviewed the guy who assaulted me. I told you multiple times to please go inside and tell him the dude in the blue shirt. The supervisor returns and pulls Deputy Drigger aside to speak in private. Pepperoni explains what happened in detail and tells the deputy that it's all on film. None of them ask to review the footage, which happens to be the only evidence. The supervisor gives a few directives to not enter the property and gives him a report number. The officers then return to speak with the callers and nearly 15 minutes later, the deputies go to leave and Sergeant Morrison arrives on scene and almost immediately attacks Pepperoni. How you doing, sir? How you doing, sir? Uh, not too good. Wow, what's going on today, buddy? I had some dude inside. Oh, you're getting really close, man. Oh, yeah, yeah. I like to get close. I like to talk to people. Can you stop No, no, sir. So I, I want to talk to you. What's dude, going on, stop, my friend? Stop fucking getting so close to me, dude. What's going on, man? Dude, stop approaching me. Sir, I, I'm allowed back to the approach fuck you. off, dude. Okay. Give me some space, dude. Go ahead and turn. Give me some space, dude. Behind your back. No, give me some. Help! Oh my god! Dude. Pepperoni Audits was arrested for breach of the peace and resisting arrest and third degree assault and battery. Upon his release, he went to the hospital to tend to a concussion that he received as a result of the sergeant's excessive force. While arrested, he alleges that he was denied and laughed at when asking for medical treatment. Once home from the hospital, he noticed that his videos were completely deleted from his camera and immediately messaged me. Shortly after, he was able to restore the videos and found another recording of the officers accidentally filming themselves with the camera. All charges have now been dropped. And after a complaint was filed and upon reviewing the footage, the Florence County Sheriff's Office moved to fire Sergeant Morrison immediately, citing several policy violations and possible criminal acts. Meanwhile, new at 11, a Florence County Sheriff's deputy is no longer with the office after video of an arrest was uploaded to YouTube. That video shows someone being approached by a deputy while recording video and then being tackled to the ground while being arrested. The sheriff said that the investigation found, quote, numerous FC SO, Florence County Sheriff's Office, policy violations during the incident, end quote, and that led to the deputy being fired. The agency then forwarded the incident to the 12th Circuit Solicitor's Office to possibly prosecute the deputy and Pepperoni's original aggressor. Pepperoni Audits plans to file a lawsuit against all of the individuals involved. And while it's great that the sheriff's office did the right thing and fired an overly aggressive deputy, it's important to remember a few things. Number one, if there was no video, or if it was erased properly, Pepperoni would still likely be facing charges. Number two, Sergeant Morrison was a supervising officer. None of the three other deputies stepped up to do the right thing, because they were trained by this sergeant, and because this is the culture of modern law enforcement. 
which is why it is crucial that you film every encounter you have with state officials. This encounter was well over an hour long, and I have removed large portions of the interaction between Pepperoni Audits, his original aggressor, and several of the deputies. It is very difficult to get body camera footage in South Carolina, but because I've removed so much of this video, I've coordinated with Pepperoni Audits to launch our videos and publish at the same time. He has just posted the remaining footage that was not shown here, and it is all very interesting, so please be sure to head over to his channel and check out those videos. His channel and videos will be linked in the description and pinned comment. Thanks for watching. If you have a video, use the submit link in the description or pinned comment. If you enjoyed this one, subscribe and hit the bell for future content, and check out our other channels, Lady Lackluster and The Odd Side. Remember to like, share, and leave a comment about what you think of this interaction. It's the easiest way for you to help expose corruption and misconduct. Merchandise is available using the links below. Join the Lackluster family for just a buck if you'd like to further support the channel. Get a Lack logo next to your name, custom emotes, and early access to videos. I look forward to seeing you in the next one. All links are down below.